go ahead and sign in. You need a pen? <coughs> Mom says I'm so contagious. Skip the chaos and the germs. Log in to waitfromhome.com. See wait times at over 15 UMC clinics. And when it's time to come in, we'll call or text. Skip the wait. Waitfromhome.com. Welcome to Know Your Enemy, brought to you by UMC Health Systems. I'm Krista Pirtle. Texas Tech is getting ready for a very long trip this weekend heading to Morgantown to take on West Virginia at 11 a.m. Central Time here in Texas. Now West Virginia does not have a Big 12 conference win yet and here's why. In Oklahoma the Mountaineers had to go up against Oklahoma, then Oklahoma State, Baylor, then TCU, the top four teams in the league thus far. The Red Raiders know what that's about as they just finished up their own slate of that as well. So we will see how these two teams handle each other this weekend. Now, defensively, West Virginia is very much improved so far this season. The Mountaineers are led by a very experienced and talented linebacking group. All three of these guys are seniors. They've got Nick Kwiatkowski, Shaq Petaway, and Jared Barber. Now, all three of these guys lead the team with a total of 17.5 tackles for loss. So the Red Raider offensive line really needs to protect quarterback Patrick Mahomes on the road. Kwiatkowski leads the team with 46 tackles, followed by Petaway with 33, and Barber with 30. Barber also has seven tackles for loss by himself. Now overall, as a defense, West Virginia is tough on third down. They are number nine nationally, holding their opponents to 29.6 percent, excuse me, on third down conversions. Texas Tech kind of struggled on third downs against Oklahoma State, and if the Red Raiders want a win on the road, want to get bowl eligible, they need to convert on third downs. Now offensively in the past, Dana Holgerson's teams have been kind of pass happy. He lacks the air raid himself, but this year he's playing to his team's strength, which is running the ball. The offensive line is very physical and the Mountaineers have a really good back in Wendell Smallwood. Smallwood is currently averaging 113 yards per game, over six yards per carry. Now, last week, West Virginia didn't do so well against TCU, but Smallwood was the bright spot for the Mountaineers as he ran for 113 yards against the Horned Frogs. We've heard it said many times from defensive coordinator um, David Gibbs that he expects a lot of the opponents to just line up and run the ball against the Red Raider defense. They're going to have to stop Smallwood if they want a chance of getting a win on the road. If you want more information on this weekend's game, you can check out webbeconline.com and redraiders.com. I'm Krista Pirtle. Thanks for watching.